As Italian motorcycles go, Benelli is a very important name. It had a very glorious history early on and then it tapers out. Then a Chinese manufacturer enters the picture and buys Benelli out. Today, they're on the path back to normalcy. More importantly, they're coming to India with the DSK group. And what you're going to get is a number of motorcycles. But I think today we have two of the most important motorcycles in the lineup. This is the BN600. It's the naked bike based on the 600cc inline 4 platform and the TNT899, which is uh, the iconic Benelli design as far as naked motorcycles go. It looks like a giant insect. And we're going to find out what they are like to ride today on the show. Clearly, the TNT is the better looking motorcycle and has a lot of styling and detail work going on. This is how Benelli's were back in the day when the Merloni group owned it. It was famous for the Tornado Superbike back then and the TNT naked. The smaller 899 came later but it got the same insect-like looks, a broad, heavy and powerful looking front end joined by a skinny waist to a stubby rear end. Look closely and you will notice a lot of the detail work you expect on an Italian motorcycle. Especially cool in this regard is the rear end of this motorcycle. On the other hand, the BN600i clearly is a different animal. It was designed to a price and a role and that tones down the lines and makes the motorcycle cheaper to make and to sell. This is one of the new directions that Benelli adopted after being acquired by the Chinese. That said, if you always associated Chinese made with badly made, the BN600i will show you that the Chinese can make quality products too. The BN isn't a Honda style built or finished motorcycle yet, but it certainly isn't cheap as chips or flimsy. The original TNT design predates Chinese ownership and in that sense, if you look at it, it's a properly exotic Italian motorcycle. There's very little on this motorcycle that you think just came off a shelf out of a box that a manufacturer is already making and got used on the motorcycle. And if you look at the details from the red trellis frame to the complicated looking alloy uh, pivot plate on which the swing arm mounts, uh, the uh, tubular swing arm that goes all the way to the back, the way the chain adjuster, etc. Everything looks custom made, well designed, just like you expect an Italian exotic motorcycle to be. Of course, if you have to remember, this was originally done for the bigger TNT, but the small TNT gets all of those benefits, hopefully without the price. The 899 may not be the big TNT, but explosive it certainly is. The 899cc triple delivers its 118 PS rapidly and throttle response is direct and immediate which makes riding it a lot of fun. Adding to that sense of drama is the bike's voice. It sounds exceptionally clattery at idle once the radiator fans kick in, but on the move, it's all howling and intake roar. Closer to the red line, the 899 sounds terrific and heightens your sense of speed. I like it a lot. The ride quality clearly is meant to enhance its handling and so it's stiff and sporty and not very happy at all over the bumps. But once you realize how fast and effortless the chassis feels in corners, you'll be smiling so much you'll forget the stiffness of the ride and how crashy the suspension can feel over sharp bumps. The TNT 899 promises to be great fun and I can't wait to take the Indian assembled version for a longer spin. But if you're in the mood for something more India friendly with a more absorbent ride, Benelli have that too. The Benelli BNs to me are very interesting because it's something that Benelli hasn't done in a really long time. This is a platform motorcycle. This is a 600i. What I mean by platform motorcycle, of course, is that this is brand new. If you look at the frame, you've got a half trellis frame. A substantial part of the frame is now in alloy up to the uh, pivot plate. Then the swing arm is in alloy as well. The engine, of course, is a brand new inline 4 600cc engine. But what is interesting about this is that this thing comes in flavors. The I is the naked flavor, you get a touring motorcycle called the GT and so on and so forth. And I think what is interesting is that now you can not only have a 600cc inline 4 at a reasonable price, hopefully, you can also have them in the flavor you want. The BN600 is supposed to be the naked and that means an easy to ride and a friendly motorcycle overall. And that the BN certainly is. Like the TNT, it does have quite the singing voice and the inline 4 is loud and all pervasive. 
but unlike the TNT, throttle response is more neutral and while I did wish for a more linear response from it, I think new riders will find the BN easy to get used to and 80 odd PS is actually plenty of power. These new riders will also like the softness of the ride which absorbs a lot of the bad stuff down there and handling again is tuned for being not too sharp or not too soggy. And this is nearly the standard across the middleweight motorcycle segment. And it's very good news for new riders who want to get used to cornering a bigger, more powerful motorcycle. So the DSK brand started their motorcycle adventure in India with Hyosung of course, which sells a couple of sports bikes, there's a bunch of nice cruisers in there and there's a plan for commuters coming. Complementary to that I think is Benelli which doesn't overlap too much but has these nice larger displacement motorcycles and since they're all going to go into CKD production they should be affordable as well. The final India spec of course remains to be seen because these bikes still have to finish paperwork and I'm expecting some minor changes to the engine tune so that they can meet our emission norms but I think what DSK have in Benelli is a viable proposition for new motorcycles that will excite enthusiasts in India. You can buy them come December and Benelli says there'll be seven dealerships open in December when the bikes go on sale.